Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otsus T and I welcome you to another river guide. In this episode, we look at another section of the Forder Rhine from Kumpadrials to Tavanasa. The Forder Rhine is without a doubt the most popular whitewater river in Switzerland. The Rhine Gorge from Elans to Reichenau with its unique landscape certainly contribute to this. The upper ports are therefore less frequented. There are a few and the put-ins and put-outs can even be combined to form different sections. Of the upper ports, the stretch from Kumpadrials to Tavanasa is probably the most popular of them. The put-in at Kumpadrials is at either side of the bridge upstream from the village. The section above holds the most difficult cataract below Dysentis and I keep that for a different guide. But you can take a peek at another video I did of this section which includes that part. Compadrials lies at the western upper end of a basin of the municipality Sumvichk. From the main road above the valley floor it appears relatively flat. On the water, you will however soon find out that this is not the case, as there are many small cataracts that guide you down. The best water level can be found from spring until summer, when the snow in the high mountains is melting, contributing to the water flow. At the dam in Tavanasa, you can see how much water flows into the reservoir. This value cannot be accessed through the internet. Therefore, you have to rely on the measuring point down in Elans. I find dividing that value by 2 gives you about the flow you have in Tavanasa. For this trip, we had 16 cubic meters per second, which is quite low. A good level can be expected when the level at Elans is above 55 cubic meters per second. As the river is not too wide at most places, you should be aware of trees in the flow, especially in early spring or after a high water period. Due to the nature of this river, it can become quite difficult to stop and find an eddy above such an obstruction. This becomes a bigger issue with larger groups or less experienced paddlers. Depending on the water level, the section can be rated as white water 2 to 3. The difficulties rise towards the end, but we will come to that. After the bridge in the Rhine, there is a half meter high artificial drop. In the last years, the chute on the left side seemed the right one. This can change over time as well as with different water levels. 500 meters further down, there is a second barrier. Here, the best route is not always as clear, especially at higher water levels. Now we have the gravel delta from the Samvichka Rhine. The creek is poured up above its last gorge and its water will eventually end up in the Hinter Rhine. Therefore, the inflow of water you get from the right is nowhere near the amount these massive gravel beds might suggest. From here on, the riverbed is wider and difficulties until Trun are low. Still, there are a few sections for your eye or can become a sportive challenge. The camping ground in Trun is the base camp of the yearly event Trun Week. From here, every summer daily tours are organized on the near and sometimes not so near rivers and creeks. The camping ground is also a good location for less experienced paddlers to disembark in case they want to avoid the more difficult parts below. Some years ago the impassable weir here has been removed. The only downside of this is that the exact exit point here in True 
Trun can be difficult to find. It is below the gravel bank on the long straight stretch on the left side when the power wires cross the river again. From here the difficulties rise again with the first highlight the cataract under the road bridge. The first part requires the navigation around huge boulders. We usually tend to hold to the right side. Higher water levels may open more options here. Directly under the bridge, the boulders become smaller, but the gradient is just as steep as with many hidden rocks and holes. Only after the next right turn, after a total length of about 500 meter, the gradient reduces. Next two kilometers are easier again, comparable with the first few of this section albeit with more water down here. The grey concrete wall on the road up ahead marks the start of the last cataract after the river turns left again. Depending on the water level and the experience, this can be a fun section allowing eddy hopping to figure out which passage to take next. This section changes from time to time and one year the right side might be favored and the next one the left side. The cataract ends in the backwater of the dam of Tavanasa. This is a pumped storage hydropower station which releases its water only down in Ilans. The power hunger of our society necessitates such obstruction which sadly seldomly leave enough overflow for the following section. More information can be found in the description below. If you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like and if you don't want to miss the next video, hit the subscribe button. Until then, goodbye!